Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we'll be working on Chevy Cruze, guys, and we'll explain how to test PCV valve, guys. How to know if, if a PCV valve is good or bad. Stay with us, that's what we'll be covering today, guys. Quick introduction, we will guys have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze, different engines, and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. This is because, guys, our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. Uh, for all the work we do here at the shop, please give a subscribe. So, now let's go ahead, start on it, and explain to you okay, what the PCV valve is, quick, what it does, and uh, how to test it. Especially on that Chevy Cruze, guys, you will have a hard time testing it. Now, PCV valve, guys, on most vehicles, okay, it's a simple device, just like that. Super simple, right? Nothing complicated, guys, check it out. So what is guys a PCV valve? PCV valve is that little bitty device right here. It's out of another engine, but I, I can explain what it is, what it looks like, and uh, you get the idea, and then we'll switch to the Chevy Cruze. So that little bitty device, usually it's very inexpensive. People almost never replace those guys, and you have to. Why? Because this is extremely important for the way your engine runs, how clean it runs, and uh, it can guys lead to very expensive repairs if you don't replace it. And I hope on ours, Every 80 to 100,000 miles, I usually replace ours on some vehicles, even 60,000 miles. So, what it does now, guys? When your engine runs, you know, we have like uh, little bitty explosions in each of the cylinders. That's how it creates power. But some of that gas, guys, from the explosion will go around the uh, piston rings and it will end up in the crankcase, which will be the lower uh, part of the engine, let's say the oil pan. But oil pan is connected to the valve cover, right? Because uh, the oil from the valve, uh, from the cylinder head goes down to the oil pan. Now, if that blow by gas is left, guys, what will happen? You have increased pressure, okay, in the engine. That increased pressure will, uh, can lead to oil leaks, multiple oil leaks, blown gaskets, uh, crankshaft seals, camshaft seals. Really, guys, terrible, terrible consequences. You can develop black smoke, Increased oil consumption, if it's stuck open guys, you'll be burning oil, uh, you can have rough idle, misfires, so many different things guys. We have a whole video that explains the symptoms of a bad PCV valve being stuck open or stuck closed. Now, how you guys test it? Usually, you get the valve and listen now, all you have to do just shake it guys and there is a bowl that is moving inside. So listen now. Okay, I'm trying to get closer to the microphone. Let's do it again. Okay, you can hear guys and feel a bow moving. Now, it's a one-way valve. So if you blow from the exit side, I wouldn't recommend with the mouth because you might have oil and other contamination. But if you try to blow air from here, from the exit port to the intake port, it shouldn't go. It should go only one way, from here out. And if that valve guys is bad, okay, it could be stuck open or stuck closed. The bow will not be moving usually guys and uh, it might have too much uh, oil and build up inside of it that prevents things from getting out or it might be just stuck open guys. So how we test it on Chevy Cruze? Unfortunately guys, that PCV valve is integrated in your, uh, in your valve cover. Okay, this hose right here, this is the one for the uh, PCV valve right here. And it's one circular membrane right here guys and it's actually replaceable if you can find it I've seen in Europe they sell them here I had to replace the whole valve cover so if you need to buy any parts or tools guys we will have the link in the description of the video below but if you remove the valve cover you shake it you'll be able to hear guys you have a membrane that you can inspect by taking it apart but it's super complicated uh, and you can definitely test it if you can blow back or not if it's stuck open stuck closed you can check that but as a result guys on chevy cruise it's not easy you have to remove the valve cover and uh, inspect it and it still may not get the right idea if it's good or bad At that point i'll recommend to put a new valve cover at least if your car has over 60 to 80 000 miles probably it's time for it so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time